Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Very briefly. I may be, I may or may not answer them, but you can ask. Um. So as as far as uh, so as as far as um as being being served uh through through the mail, Florida statute sixty one point one three zero one five says it's supposed to be a certified uh, notification. Is that not is that not true? Which hearing, like the the final judgment? You guys sent out a, a court date, and I never received it in the mail. But and you denied my last motion. But when I when I did some research, it said that that's supposed to be certified. When it comes to special license and driver's license, it's supposed to be certified. Okay, uh, okay, uh, I'm not aware. If you say so, I, what, what's the statute? What's the statute? Uh, for the statute six zero no six one. Point one three zero one five. I mean, it's just kind of a lot there, like down toward the. I mean, it's just kind of a lot there, it was like down toward the bottom. It just says that 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 should be certified. Those these notices should be certified. So typically, notice of, typically notice of hearing that the court issues or that the department issues uh, is usually by general U.S. mail is sufficient for denial of professional license and certificate uh, petition for suspension. So. Which subsection are you referring to? Uh, I think it was B. It's, it's right. It's down at the bottom. You know, we we, we don't have to go surfing through it. It's not a very big statute either. But it, I, I was reading up on it, and I believe like right that last paragraph said that it should be done certified. I read this. This is how I how I take this. I've read, okay. and I'll read it into the record real quickly and try to give you my my understanding and explanation. So. Notice shall be served under this section by mailing it by certified mail, return receipt request to the obligor at his or her last address of record with the local depository. Yes, it does say that. The notice uh, that I think this subsection has in mind is the notification to you that the department intends to suspend the license, not necessarily the notice for the hearing itself. That's a little bit different. But if the obligor has no address of record, or the last address of record with the local depository is incorrect. Service shall be by publication as provided in chapter 49 when service, and then it says when service of the notice is made by mail, service is complete upon the receipt of the notice by the obligor. So that last qualifying subsec, well, sentence of that paragraph tells me it doesn't specify regular, certified, or otherwise. It just says notice is complete upon your receipt of the notice, or service is complete upon your receipt of the notice. So, uh, arguably, for a professional license, you should be receiving notices of intent to suspend by certified mail. Notices yeah. of hearing are different. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, if I receive something from actual child support, it should be certified. And you're saying you, your 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 notices can just come regular mail. For, for a hearing, yes, typically. I just wanted to be a hundred percent driving statutes. But um, bottom line is, uh, you by filing your petition, mm -hmm. whether the service is proper or not, by filing your petitions when you filed them, the Department of Revenue has is not pursuing the suspension or they're not following through in it until we have our final hearing. Really, the driving statutes.